I'd like to applaud everyone watching right now. Thank you for watching the channel at Scalvener. If you like Excalvener's content, be sure to uh, tell everyone else to subscribe in your in your um, school and your family vacations and your churches and uh, anywhere where you see anybody else. Tell them Excalvener is about to unbox something that can't get in the mail. Check it out. And I even learned. I put tape over my address. Let me give you a little backstory. So uh, let me also cover up the ugly zits on my arm. I ordered a cool keyboard. It was RGB light up, 10 keyless. It had aluminum top plate. It didn't have a detachable cable, but that's, uh, that's okay. It smelled like weed too, which I should have just followed the signs. I should have just said to myself. So I used it for 30 minutes and then it just broke 45 bucks down the drain. So now here I am with the replacement, but it's not the same keyboard and it's not the same brand and I have nothing to do with that brand anymore. Brand stinks. Whoever's the CEO needs to like take a bath, stupid freak. We have learned from our mistakes, have we? Yes, we have. Today, I'm making up for my stupidity. what I say last time? <laughs> I said eBay, two stars. It broke and it smelled like weed. What am I say this time? I said new egg, three year warranty, brand new. It's probably not gonna smell like weed. So let's get into it, Royce, okay? With the Gucci knife. All right, watch this opening, ready? I practiced this for a while. Hey. All right, now the top one, you have to be very delicate, because if you're not delicate, you don't get the Gucci satisfying sound. Now you like to take the knife like this, you put it to the side of the tip, use this, use, use the edge of the knife to split the tape on the very edge, and then use the rest of the knife to continue the tear across the top. And you listen to the sound, Oh yes, very good, very good. And we open the box and we see what the heck is that? Awesome is here? That's so cringy. Awesome's only here when I open it. Awesome was nowhere when it was in its box. Now it's here though. Oh, there it is. Oh man, it's like giving birth to a baby but you didn't do any work. Whoa. Okay, what's this? Oh my gosh, it's my address. Is this a love note to me? My, the person who actually gave birth to it? Guys, this really does, this really does look, look, look like this is the one. This is the heat. It is, it is in shrink wrap, like any new baby would be. So we're gonna have to take the shrink wrap off. Okay, jet bap. Let's undress our new member of the family. That's, that <gasps> sounds. Aircraft grade aluminum top plate. You know what this means? This was once on a plane or it was part of a plane. This thing's been in the skies. I'm gonna take you higher than the skies. I have never seen this keyboard in person. So it better look like what I ordered. If it's black or purple or something, I'm gonna be so mad because it says white. And it's just a plastic, okay. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. US type, uh, US, USB type C braided cable. White to match the keyboard. That's, that's, that's beautiful. With, uh, what is this? <laughs> Hello? Oh, it does smell. Hey, guys, smell that. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can't smell it, idiots. For the bread and butter of this whole operation. Let me, let me free you. Let me free you, baby. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. This keyboard looks great. <laughs> I'm kidding. I just threw that away <laughs> on spot. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh, these are cherry switches. These are cherry switches, I can feel it. I'm gonna make this a kind of a review just cause I have the leverage. I think these are real cherry switches. I don't know how to yank key cops off of my fingers, so I'm not gonna do that. On the back, these are rubber, but these are not. Oh, the feet are rubber, okay. So, so I think if I just use it like this, it would kind of slip around a little bit, but when I put the, if I put the feet up, there's rubber on the feet. That's cool. But the Apple keyboard I was using doesn't even have any rubber at all. So just these two make my day. Man, they feel like. That, these feel like real, real cherry switch. I was using, um, you guys wanna see my old keyboard that, that messed up? Uh, this is a Steel Series, it's a Steel Series keyboard. And they aren't really known for their keyboards. So I don't know why I, they don't have cherry, cherry switches. They're Steel Series switches and they were made in collaboration or something, tangent or something with uh, Gatoron and Gatoron Reds aren't 
cherry reds. Plug this baby in. They even, oh my gosh, guys. G Skill, everyone at G Skill headquarters has OCD. Look at this rubber band that matches the white. They, the, the rubber band matches the colors. That's just bamboozling. They're crazy out at G Skill. <laughs> oh, okay, not, whoa, whoa. This is a little longer than I thought, whoa. Just for a second, I'm gonna close the curtains so we can check out the lighting on the keyboard. Let's see what G Skill has prepared for us today. Oh. Whoa. Okay guys, Um, another, one way to do this right now, we can check it out. We can choose the brightness level. So that's, that's off. One, two, three, four. That's how you turn on and off the LEDs. Um, FN plus this, you see that this lights up. See how bright that got? I'll show you it again. That's called, that's the Windows key lock. Um, that means that this is disabled. Which means that if you're gaming and you accidentally press this by mistake, it won't it won't uh, activate. Caps lock gets brighter when you press it. That's pretty cool. I think if I had the black one, I wouldn't appreciate the LEDs as much. The white the white model really really sh shows those LEDs real well. And the uh, it is a floating key design. So if you look on the back right here, you can see the light stems. Now let's uh, get into like a, a typing race and uh, see what's good. I watched some reviews say that they didn't like the font of this keyboard. I actually think it's okay. I think the reason they didn't like it is because on the enter and shift keys, the LEDs are like super bright in the middle, but they fade out near the end. But that's such a nitpicky like jerk thing to say. So like, I'm cool with it. It doesn't bother me. No one's, no one's, you're not, okay. To everybody who's looking for a new keyboard and they want RGB lighting, ask yourself like a series of questions. One, where are your hands when you're gaming? And let's be honest, if you want RGP keyboard, probably a gamer. Where are your hands while you're gaming? Oh, they're, they're right here on the key, okay. Where's your head when you're gaming? Oh, it's uh, looking at the screen, okay. You, no one's looking at your keyboard while you're playing, except other people. You're never gonna look at your keyboard while you're playing. So there's no point with the RGB. No dedicated media controls, but it's, it's going for a more simplistic thing. Let me, let me sync clap real quick. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how we do in a typing race. Swing so clap. All right, cool. So this is the type of rate, typing races. We're gonna see first whether it's better with the kick, with the kickstands up or with the kickstands down. And we're gonna see which typing speed was faster, like which one I got that was faster. Okay, here we go. It's really interesting. The keyboard I normally use is uh, this one right here, which is an Apple Slim. So it's a, it's a membrane, but it's super thin. Here, I'll show you. See how thin that is? My hands can be like this, typing. Like I'm not up here, right? So up being up here, it's just, it feels super weird. So I have to lift my wrists. And then, then it's even worse because I don't lift my wrists at all. So I think with the feet, it'll be better for me, but I don't know if it's gonna be better for me. And the rubber kicked in and it is not going anywhere. I don't know if it'll be better. I got 53 words per minute. My average is like 80. So, <laughs> I'm not used to it, I guess. Or I suck now. Okay, so it's 50. Okay, so it's the same, around the same words per minute. Uh, it doesn't matter, kickstands or not. Now we're gonna try the Apple Slim keyboard because I need to justify myself because that was disgusting performance. We have 85 on the slim. That's way better than than 50 over here. So it looks like I've got I've got some um, got some getting used to. <laughs> I think that when I get used to this, it's gonna be faster than the slim. I think that concludes Calvin's review adventures. <clears throat> uh, thanks for sticking with me. Um, good keyboard. I'd say for 50 bucks with the cherries, it has cherries and backlight, aluminum plate and a detachable cable for 50 bucks. You guys just have to be kind of kind of over it, you know? Kind of sleeping to uh, to not get this keyboard. I hope this review inspired you to make poor money decisions. Until next time.